So this is going to be a video diagnosing, I suppose even going over this JVC video monitor which we've had dropped off for repair. Now it looks as if the CRT is reasonably bright on the camera but it's not actually, it's a bit dim. Um, as well as this we've also got poor convergence just slightly, you know, it's not that bad, it's, it's slightly out, uh, there's a bit of tilt on the picture as well. It looks as if um, got some linearity issues which we can sort out. Um, so, oh and, and obviously the tube is going to be duff. I have previously, whilst the customer was here dropping off, since the G2 and focus controls are accessible through the back we did adjust them wasn't able to get any real improvement there is some deforming going on at the bottom of the picture here i don't know if you can notice if you notice this i don't know crappy caps let's take the back off and have a look i suppose the first thing i would like to do is to try and see if i can improve the condition of the CRT. Now the tube is knackered and there's no way around that. You could try and rejuvenate the tube but eventually it will fall back to its the, the level it was at previously. I don't believe in rejuvenating especially if it's something I'm doing for a customer. What I usually suggest doing is either installing a boost heater transformer or an auxiliary winding off the line output transformer that feeds maybe 6.578 volts into the heaters. Um, and the reason I, I prefer doing it that way is because it's only a very small modification and it does hold the results far more better than, shall we say, rejuvenating, which actually strips part of the cathode material away so it's just something to think about i've uh, discussed it with the customers happy for me to to go ahead and do that so i'll show you guys how i how i go about doing that and then i suppose the rest of it will be adjusting the convergence maybe sorting out the linearity issues going over the caps whatever i'm also going to there's a preset voltage adjustment for the b plus which will attend to so let's get started eh so this is the heater modification i've made on the JVC monitor. I need to tidy up the wiring. I've been uh, calculating how many turns I need to generate just over 6.3 volts. As you can see, the heat is glowing uh, you know, slightly more brighter. It's running at about 7 volts. And actually, like, colour's pretty good. I've also adjusted uh, vertical, horizontal positioning. I've increased the B plus supply. Generally, the picture's actually um, a lot more sharper now. I don't know if that comes across well on the camera. It's pretty, pretty hard to try and put that across. But um, certainly the colours pop a, a lot more. There seems to be a bit more detail. I'm going to just touch up the focus again. So uh, it looks like I think the only fault that we have left now is... After I tidy up those wires, just going to change the capacitors in the vertical amp. I've adjusted the linearity so the squares are equal. I don't know if you can notice that, if you notice that. But we're still getting some cramping on the bottom and some strange effects, which is just caused by leaky capacitors. So I'll um, just change those and it should be all done. Okay, so I've changed a few capacitors, mainly in the vertical stage. I found one very leaky, uh, let's try and find it, it's, I think it might be this one, 4700 microfarad at uh, 16 volts, very leaky, um, and this is a 100 volts, which is also quite bad as well. And there's a couple lower uh, voltage rated rating 100 volt caps anyway uh, it seems really good now no more weird vertical lines i'll show you uh, get our test card on there 
looks pretty good to me. Nice, clear picture. Uh, let's just do this. And then we can go into deflection. Um, I have already adjusted the picture, but I am going to bring in the uh, vertical height just a little bit to prove my point. That's enough. Anyway, looks pretty good. Go back to our cross hatching dots with our border line. We're not really supposed to see this border, by the way. But I've lowered it just so we can kind of see the edges of our picture. Uh, again, just to show you that uh, linearity is perfect, works pretty well, I, I can't complain, I've adjusted the G2, I've adjusted the focus, I've done the HT preset, it fluctuated quite a lot actually, it's quite low. The smoothing capacitor, the main smoothing, the HT rail, measured fine, so I'll be leaving that then. I've added the obvious uh, external heater winding uh, to boost our heater volts. Um, focus is good. You can get a, sort of like a more sharper picture if um, you lower the G2 a bit, but then the picture becomes a bit too dark. Um, I mean, it, it's watchable actually in its okay brightness with all the workshop lights on, and it's actually <laughs> amazing with all the lights off. As you can see, you know. That looks fantastic. Just going to button this one up now. I'm going to tidy up the, uh, the wiring and the winding I've added on. I've put a bit of varnish uh, on that winding just to hold it together. Should be all right. I'll put a zip tie on there as well. I'll keep the wires bundled up. I'm sure someone would, would be saying, well, I should have put some tubing over that or something, but it, I don't care. Makes no difference to me. Um, so, what was it? A few caps. Oh, also, um, we had a small fault where, whilst I was taking the board out, I managed to pull a diode off the board, and I didn't quite realise what I'd had done until I saw the um, eventual picture. Otherwise, it seems you know, I reinstalled the diode. It's fine. Uh, just a shop key. Um, managed to solder that back on. Seems pretty good. Nice.